I am Karak Alvaron and today we are back in Valheim for another seed discovery video. This is yet another unique seed. This particular seed does not have a maypole on it, which is unique for me. Most of the seed discovery videos I do have maypoles. This is an early speed run seed, something I would recommend for people if they were doing challenge mode. It's pretty cool little seed for the first three or four bosses. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So this seed is meant for an early speed run. Um, this will get you through motor. Uh, there's some pretty interesting... It's a pretty interesting setup how I would propose that you play it. The reason I'm doing this is, is I'm trying to do a few more different seed discoveries beyond the maypole, just to kind of show you some of the other ways that you might be able to play. Um, just going on that a little bit further, uh, this you can play this this entire seed. There's obviously all of the bosses, etc. But a lot of us veteran players, what we have is, is we have three or four seed saves in our library, right? And we use them for different things. As an example, on my channel, I just recently had a uh, best Hilder location, right? And that's a seed that I have saved separately where I can do the Hilder bosses. It's right by the Hilder trader. That's this kind of seed. If you just wanted to do a quick early run, um, get those trophies, bring them back to your home seed. That's how you would use this seed. So that's the application. The main thing is, is we've got this village right here by the swamp, okay? Now, as you can see through the title, the, the main, the best part about this seed is, is all the three early bosses are around here, besides Ichthyr, right? The cool part about this village is, is it's half in the swamp, okay? What would be even cooler is if there was a, uh, a maypole, but there isn't. You've got some raspberries, you've got um, a beehive in there. And you've got Draugr that will slaughter animals for you. You've got some deer right there that you can just pick up. Um, here's your swamp. Right here. Uh, you're going to be able to get leeches. You're going to be able to get blobs. There's some mushrooms, you know, whatever. Um, that's pretty cool that you're this close to the swamp on a village. Now, obviously, you're going to get visited by Draugr. You're going to get all sorts of interesting people that come by and visit you from the swamp early on that might be um an issue however uh you've got some buildings so you get here pretty quickly and you can just build them up not too bad now the best part about this is is the location okay here is the spawn you could technically run to these things but as you can see You've got the three early bosses pretty close by. Ichthyr is over here, and we'll look at the seed generator in a minute so you can see that. But here's that base camp. Now, bone mass is right there. All right? You can run over that way and get over here. But that's just a little swamp area. You've got a bigger swamp here, okay? And this swamp actually has some decent structures in it that you can use. Um... You know, you've, you've definitely, you've got some crypts, which is cool. You're going to have to deal with Draugr. Um, not the end of the world. But here's that bone mass spawn. That's pretty damn close to that village over there. Not bad. And, if, you know, this is actually a decent bone mass location. Um, for a fight. You've got a couple of trees here. He'll, he can knock down those trees. But what I normally do is I get up here, actually, and range him. It's harder for him to get you with his swipe attack when you're up here in the poison. Um, you still have to deal with the ranged mobs that he spawns. But not a bad little location. And it's very close to that, that camp. Now let's head over to the motor, which is fairly close. So run up here. And again, this is a unique seed for me in terms of what I normally do. There's no maypole, but it's just the proximity of these early bosses. Um, I saw this on Reddit, 
and I decided to do a video on it. I thought it was pretty cool. The seed ID is Freya, which, you know, I always leave in the description of the video. So you can just put it into the um, world map generator yourself. But here's the motor spawn. Pretty close. Um, punch that wolfie. A uh, little bit of a base right here. You could probably uh, use this to uh, kite, maybe. I don't know. Um, motor will destroy that from the air, but it still gives you a little defense. Again, not a bad little location. And of course, down here is the Elder. Now, we started at the camp. Elder, obviously, is the first boss, and then you go to Bone Mass, then you go to Motor. What I'm thinking here is as you build your base up here, and then you just farm these three bosses. Now, remember... A lot of you are playing on a modded server, and some of those modded servers, um, they require boss drops to give you particular rewards, okay? Um, I'm not sure what your server is, but as an example, there's an old magic mod that I used to use called Skyheim, which is awesome. And Skyheim would require you to defeat bosses. And if you defeated the bosses, you would get a special drop. And after a few special drops, you could construct new spells. I know there's lots of mods out there like that. That's another application for this seed. You know, you got really good proximity to these three bosses. And you can see here, here is the Elder Spawn. This is actually a fairly cool location in and of itself. You've got this little base right here. Um, but it's right on the water. Uh, you could actually build a base right here if you wanted. You can, that is a permanent fire source. It will never go out. Um, and you could put walls up, etc. Just don't drop any ancient seeds in there when you have your base built. But you can build a base right here if you want. So, there you go. You've got three bosses fairly close to this camp location. Which is right on a swamp. And you can run to this from the uh the spawn now let's take a look at the world map generator real quickly so we can see here's the spawn okay now if we go over here here are the bosses you can traverse this pretty easily it's not that far apart and you know here's the elder that camp is right here i'm sorry that camp is right over here somewhere actually let's just do the villages real quick here it is okay right here that's where we would set up the base. And it's right in between these these three bosses. And you've got Ichthyr here. You know, you're going to have to deal with Ichthyr early. Um, you could build a portal somewhere around the spawn and grab Ichthyr. Not bad. Um, there's not a whole lot else around these three, though. Okay, you don't have Yagloth and the Queen. They're, they're further north. You're going to have to sail up there. Not the end of the world, but... I liked this because it's centrally located, this this isle, this village where you can build a base. You've got three bosses. It's going to be great for a modded server that requires boss drops to accumulate rewards. It, or it's going to be great for an early speedrun playthrough where, you, you know, if you're just coming back and you just want to grab the first three boss trophies or four boss trophies, bring them back to your home uh seed where you're building your you know your your palace or whatever uh this is a good application for that but let's take a quick look at these three bosses and see what we got for tombs and crypts etc there's not a lot around this elder but there's plenty over here and plenty up around here y you you'll be fine there um the bone mass is okay there's a couple of uh sunken crypts here if you're going to use this as a main playthrough, that's not a great bone mass location. You're going you're gonna to need a lot of iron. However, if you're just here because you can set up a portal base and go farm bone mass for your modded playthrough, not too bad. It's good enough. Um, let's take a look at the motor real quick. We'll look at frost caves. F4 is okay. Not great. Is there a tetra lake? There's one. All right. Um eggs we need to see the dragon eggs right yeah plenty of dragon eggs around that motor so again we're not doing this particular seed because it's a fantastic seed to do a full playthrough on 
We're doing it because we're, we can run to a centrally located village that we can build up and we can farm these three bosses. They're all within running distance. They're all fairly close. Okay. Um, there's not really much else that's attractive about this seed. So again, I want to make sure that we're very clear here. The application I see this seed for is it's one of your save games, one of your save worlds in your in your um, roster. It's for modded playthroughs that you can get boss drops fairly quickly and you need those to turn in to get, you know, um, items for rewards in, in your particular mods, whichever mods you're running. Or you want to do an early speed run. You want to get the boss trophies. You want to bring them back to your home, uh, your main seed, and then just, you know, put them on, you know, put them at the spawn and get the get the bonuses again another uh, it's just a unique seed I, I thought it was pretty cool i saw it on reddit um i'm not going to go on and on and on about this it's an early speed run for the first three or four bosses it, it's definitely something you might want to consider if you're coming back for ashlands and you just want to pump out get, get the first bosses out of the way shake off the the rust from your gameplay because you haven't played in a while this one might work for you Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you want to see more videos like this, more seed discoveries that don't focus on maypoles and just have unique type of uh, recommendations for playthroughs? If you do, let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate the support, and I'll talk to you again soon.